How would my exes describe our relationship? So we met at... I saw her on Instagram and I was like, she's so cute. A nightclub. <laughs> it was a random Wednesday night and we saw each other from across the room. We met on Instagram, actually. Who made the first move? Me. It was an emoji. It was one of those, like, the hand wave. That was it. That was it? That was mm -hmm. the move? I remember that she liked it, and I was in my room. I was like, yes. I was, I was so happy. <laughs> it was me. I asked her if she had a boyfriend. It took me three hours for me to approach her. I did. I'm not going to lie. I slid right in her DM, you know, little hard eyes, kissy face, something like that, just to see if she would reply. He was attracted to my... The way that she put together her outfits. Her smile is very cheesy. <laughs> a smile that could like light up a room. And I was attracted to his. Everything. <laughs> my eyes. His lips. My style. His eyes. Well, she always talked about my smile. His smile. What didn't she like about me is the real question. <laughs> he thought I looked like. I would say that she could fit into the Kardashian family, but I just wouldn't say she would be any specific one. I'm gonna say Rihanna. Same skin tone. Like Kehlani without the tattoos. And I thought he looked like... Stephen Curry. It's just because we're light-skinned. Drake. <laughs> I'm so into myself that if I had to tell me I look like somebody else, probably was no good. So I don't know who she thought I looked like. His first impression of me? She looks rude. She has a very um, rude face. But she's not. Like, she's dope. When I saw her, it was like, wow. When you see her Instagram, you kind of think she's like maybe stuck up. But she's actually nothing like that. She's a very down-to-earth person when you get to know her. My type is... Good hair. Assholes. Good teeth. Because of the people that I've seen her with before me and after me. Gray skin. Bearded light skin, man. I would just say me. <laughs> Our first date was... Red Lobster, because I like the biscuits. She took me out to a Chinese cuisine. She was paying for the bill, yeah. <laughs> she had went with me shopping throughout the whole day. It was raining, it was just a long day, and then we ended up just getting some food in the cafeteria. We were downtown. She was a trooper. She trooped in the rain, no umbrella, no nothing. Our first kiss was... First kiss was actually at Red Lobster. <laughs> after dinner, after our first date. At the end of the date, <laughs> we was on the train. Right before she went her way and I went my way, I just kissed her goodbye. He thought my best personality trait was... Her humor. She was funnier than I thought she would be. Like, she was so down to earth, but she doesn't look like she would be. She's really easy going. She's a very caring person. And I really liked his. My humor. He was really sweet. Hardworking. Really family oriented. My ambition. Really ambitious, actually. We bonded the most over. Because of our sense of humor, we're both like clowns. So we just matched up together well. We both love trying new things. Anything that made us laugh. We love to. Late night drives, real romantic. Listen to music, windows down, talking, just having fun. We like to play fight together, like wrestling. Anything that involved being in each other's company. As long as we was around each other, it didn't matter what we was doing. Who paid on dates? Me, all the time. The first date was actually her. For the most part, I did, but she would get me every now and then. I paid on dates, majority of the time. Who takes longer to get ready? Definitely her. She takes two hours. About two or three hours. It takes her long to go everywhere. I take a long time. I got him. I think like two pairs of sneakers. Nikes. Air Forces. She got me a couple pairs of sneakers. And he got me. I got her roses. Makeup. A Macy's ring, Swarovski. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but I got her one of those rings because I didn't have like a lot of money at the time. When he got me the ring, it was sweet. You still have it? Uh, Georgie threw it out. What? Oh. <laughs> he basically was like, who got you that ring? So I was like, oh, my ex got me the ring. And he was like, oh, take it off quick. I was like, why? Take it off, threw it away. <laughs> I never told Bryce that. I introduced him to. She introduced me to like believing in myself more. What it's like to be a model. Makeup tutorials. <laughs> Every time she would put it on, I would watch it and I would like learn new things. And then I would talk to her about it. Every time she would like put on something. And I'd be like, is that like highlight? Is that, you know, stuff like that. She tried to put it on me one time when I was sleeping, but I woke up and I was like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> And he introduced me to... Flash dance music, like the 80s music, like the leg warmers, 
pull the, you know, water down kind of music. I like that. She was like stuck on like radio music. I had to like open up her mind, I guess. Trying new restaurants before she would only eat fast food restaurants. I introduced her to modeling, like, let's go after it. We visited. We went to the, um, the sex museum. Dildos were made like over like 200 years ago. It was pretty interesting. She showed me parts of New York that I never saw before. Brookfield Mall and the Oculus. That Ripley's, um, believe it or not, museum on 42nd Street. I'm not really into stuff like that, but it was, it was cool. We love to watch. The Office. Martin. We would try to watch a TV show, but she would fall asleep and I watched the whole season by myself. <laughs> the best picture of us? Yeah, this is a great picture. Our sex life was... Amazing. Crazy. Spectacular. <laughs> In the morning, I would always... Take my pillow. Kiss me breakfast. Kiss me on my face. Not on my lips, on my face. To wake me up. Like, if she woke up before me, I couldn't sleep if she wasn't sleeping. My parents thought he was... White at first. <laughs> I, we never spoke about it, nah. I didn't meet her parents and she didn't meet mine. And his parents thought I was... My mom thought she was pretty. Beautiful. I would call him... Honestly, nothing crazy, just babe, butthead. Butthead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass baby. <laughs> YKD, that's my artist name. And he would call me... I called her babe too. She doesn't like when I call her by her middle name. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing he did for me was... I just showed her all the love in the world. I took her to feed squirrels. <laughs> she always talked about that one. Everything I did for her was the best. And the best thing I did for him was... She told me to watch who I surround myself with. She bought me tickets to see the UFC fight. Stimulate my mom. Did we say I love you? We were at dinner, Mama Sushi, and it just felt right. So I said it and she said it right back. So I was like, oh yeah, I love you. I was the first one I said it and she looked at me like, really? I thought I was the only one. <laughs> nah, it didn't get that deep. My favorite food is... Tacos. Taco pizza. Tacos. My favorite TV show is... I think, what's her name? Gina Rodriguez is in it. I don't know if she still watches The Office. Not like Jane the Virgin. The what? <laughs> Watching TV is not really her thing. Not Jane the Virgin. It's The Office and Jane the Virgin. Yeah, it's that one, yeah. My celebrity crush is... She never mentioned any guy to me. She knows better. Casanova. Me. Casanova and Drake. He's just fine. <laughs> My favorite musician is... A Boogie. Nicki Minaj. Me, I'm my favorite artist to listen to. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. My favorite hobby is... Makeup tutorials. Giving me a hard time. Go to the movies. Eating and taking pictures. Sleep. Makeup and modeling. One word that describes me best is... Driven. Easy going. Amazing. Affectionate. My mantra is... What is that? Come correct. <laughs> Copy, watch this. So like if we arguing, what you accusing me of, I'm gonna show it to you. Come correct all the time. I'm like, don't talk to me if you're not gonna come correct. I could be better at... Communicating. Not being too shy. Expressing her emotion. Being patient. I'm most afraid of... Failure. Failure. She's not scared of anything, she's brave. Not achieving my goals. My biggest pet peeve is... She hates when people rush her. Bad breath. People who smell. Me touching her food. Or touching her stuff. People who take long to reply. Being rushed. The outfit he hated most was... It was like this lime green, like, sweatsuit. Like an orange skirt and a white top. Well, in the beginning, she was into, like, baggy clothes. Like, she always wanted to be in sweatpants. But look at me now. Who is most likely to win in an argument? Me. 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 She is. And I'm stubborn. I have a lot of witty comebacks. I'm not gonna stop till I win. We dated for... Eight months. Nine months. Six months. We broke up because... Because I caught her texting somebody else. He caught me texting another guy. I was being insecure about her doing video shoots with other guys. He couldn't handle me being a model. All of the focus was so on... Our goals, it was just better to part ways. We're doing our own thing. My worst habit was... She had bad communication skills. She never admitted when she was wrong. Not understanding me. 
She's spoiled, man. She's a brat. I was a little vengeful, like, you do me wrong, I'm gonna do you wrong back. And his worst habit was... The same thing. Escalating things. To her, she hated how, like, everything had to go how I wanted it to go. He hated my... She would go out and not text me back. We would go out to eat and she's on her phone most of the time. She's very moody, you gotta just go, you gotta just handle her. I was on my phone a lot and I hated his. I was always outside with my friends when she wanted me to stay home on weekends. I didn't make an effort because I was insecure. I have attitude problems, so she hates that. The worst thing he did to me was... I didn't listen sometimes, I guess. He was pretty sweet for the most part. Probably lied to her face. Let's say going to places without telling her. Controlling and like dominant, like he wants to be the man of everything. I don't really know. Like, I don't really think I did anything that could be, that maybe she feels different, but. He was trying to be dominant, basically be like a father almost, so I didn't like that. And the worst thing I did to him was. Cheat on me. She cheated. I was talking to other guys when I was with Bryce. That's cheating, I don't care. She would choose work over me. I actually sold one of the things I got him. It was a pair of sneakers. I got him. Nikes, Air Forces. I took it back and I sold it after we broke up. I don't even remember what it was about, but I just remember her having an attitude for days. Like, she was cranky every day, four or five days. Ridiculous. I was pretty good to him. Were we in love? Yeah, I was definitely. Yeah. Nah, we weren't in love. The most one that I came to being in love with was Georgie. We always fought about... Not being able to communicate properly. Not understanding each other. When I used to reply to like a girl commenting on my picture, it was over, it was war. It was World War II, three, four, five. He got over the breakup after... Like four months within a week, because we both talked it out. The real answer, it didn't really take me long. I'm not gonna lie to you, because it's like, if you don't love somebody and you're not in love with them, what is it to get over? I take like a week to get over things. I'm like, oh well, how did things end? It was a mutual like agreement. There was no trust in the relationship. So we just felt like, what's the point? The huge argument that went crazy. And that's how we broke up. Her being on lingerie around guys made me feel a type of way. He didn't want no one touching me. He didn't want no guys like near me, none of that. We ended on good terms and we're still friends. A conversation. You think maybe it's best if we just part ways and just do what I gotta do, you do what you gotta do? We was just growing apart, basically. Would we date again? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm willing to work things out, yeah. If it couldn't work back then, I don't think it'd be able to work now. You would not believe my answer. I would date Georgie again. He's just like really handsome to me. Intimate, amazing. I do find it attractive sometimes when he takes like initiative, but not all the time. Are we still on good terms? Yeah, definitely. That's one of my closest friends. We are still on good terms. There's just no bad or negative energy. We stayed friends because... It was a mutual understanding. We understand each other. We didn't split for something like somebody cheated. Why wouldn't we be able to be cool still? He would say he misses my... Nothing. <laughs> now let me stop. It was really good company. She cleans my apartment. <laughs> Having somebody to confide in and to talk to. And I would say I miss his... Everything I'm awesome. Like... <laughs> my lover. I think she'll say the same thing. Like having somebody to talk to, confide in. The best memory of our relationship was... The late night drives, right on the highway, listening to music, talking, just having a good time. You know, that's something that's like, I'll never forget it. We was feeding squirrels. And there was one just on me, I was like, nah. And then she had two of them on her lap and she kept feeding them. I was like, yo, let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? It would be the first day we met. The fact that she met me downtown in the rain, it showed a lot about her, her character. The best thing to come out of the relationship? She helped me grow as a person. She helped me mature a lot. Bryce was really supportive. A friendship. We show each other love on Instagram. I'm always supportive, whatever she's doing. Georgie helped me try new things. I would say personal growth, like growth for herself and then growth for, for myself. Derek helped me start my modeling career. I think he would tell my future boyfriends. Tighten up, because she is like an FBI agent. <laughs> Definitely be careful. Good luck. She's looking for marriage, actually.
<laughs> Treat her right. She's deserving of somebody to do right by her. So just somebody to be there for her. She could do the rest herself. What am I looking for in a relationship? For someone to treat me as their equal and to take care of me.